High five. Good boy. This morning, a pug named Winston is making headlines. He could be the first dog in the U.S. to test positive for COVID-19. My husband made the prediction. He said if any of the animals are going to test swab positive, it will be him because he's always with us. Heather and Sam McLean are both doctors in North Carolina. The couple and their son, Ben, tested positive for COVID-19 in mid-March. They all recovered and became part of a study at Duke University. Whatever researchers could learn from us and our animals, we're more than happy to, to, to contribute to that. All of the family members and their three pets were swabbed by researchers as part of the study. The family noticed Winston was coughing and sneezing. We didn't know that we could be transmitting it to our animals. But public health officials say it is possible, and Winston likely got coronavirus from his human family. Do we need to socially distance from our pets if we think we have COVID-19? Use the same social distancing techniques with your pets that you do with people. Last week, the CDC confirmed two cats in separate homes in New York State tested positive. <laughs> And earlier this month, eight big cats at New York's Bronx Zoo tested positive. They're expected to recover. <coughs> Though experts now believe animals can get the virus from us, they say there is no evidence that pets can spread the virus to people. I hope people take it as a sign of hope and good news that um, pets, definitely ones that were not socially distanced from their humans who were sick, ended up being fine. And for Winston, who's fully recovered. It's his moment of fame, I guess, the silly little pug. <laughs>